Good afternoon, everybody. Do have a seat. So welcome to the gathering. I hope you're enjoying a slightly different perspective from your new seats. Thanks for finding those with, with relatively little trouble. And thanks to Mr. Cholak for all the work going in behind making that happen. Uh, so this afternoon, we're going to celebrate some fantastic achievements uh, amongst the student body uh, with colors for both athletics and academics. So Mr. Doig will be uh, leading on that, assisted by Mrs. Conroy. Uh, because Mr. Murdy is off collecting his own award um, up in Regina over the next couple of days. So thank you, Mr. Conroy, for stepping in there. Um, thank you to all the academic and um, athletic offices for the work putting the lists and so on together, as well as to the coaches and teachers for all the recommendations. Um, while we're singing the first hymn in a minute, just do a little uniform check if you think you might be uh, in line for colors so that when you come up, you look presentable. Um, and appropriate on the stage. Uh, so we're going to get off now with the uh, hymn, first hymn, number two, the Copeman's hymn. Please stand quietly. <laughs> Thank you. Partially ski week and Martin has been further and hard to a part of. And we discuss students who have, have just doing some really cool things. This month, I'm going to call up um, Ava Morton. She was the previous winner in, uh, of the pin, and if Ava's in the house, she can come up and I'll, I'll introduce the, the new award winner for this term. In, in February, in late February, many of you wrote the Waterloo math contests. Um, some of them from all the way from grade 8 to grade 12, and they're incredibly challenging. And this recipient 
smashed it. Top 20 in British Columbia, top in the school. Answering 23 out of the 25 questions in a time limited, and if you did those questions, you can tell that questions 22, 23, 24, and 25 are extremely difficult. This is a grade 10 boy out of Duxbury, Zakai Liu. Congratulations, Zakai. <laughs> Can you come back up? I actually have a certificate for you as well. <laughs> Congratulations, Akai. And that's our first junior to win that award. So that's uh, a nice one. He can wear that pin on his blazer. We're going to move into academic colors now, and we're going to do both senior and junior academic colors at this point in time. Uh, senior, this is our second round, and juniors, this is the first time in which we are awarding academic colors at this point in time this year. Seniors, you do get your tie, and juniors, you get a nice pin that you can also wear on your lapel of your blazer as well. So just to remind you, what the citation calls for is this. To achieve academic colors, the, the criteria is provided on page 10 of your bold book, if you want to read it. It reads, academic colors will be awarded to students who consistently demonstrate superior effort, achievement, and leadership in their studies, while also a, maintaining a commitment to the many other facets of the Shawnigan program, showing genuine interest, working to potential, and supporting classmates must be integral to the recipient's approach. Generally, students will have studied at the school for more than one year. Senior academic colors are awarded to grade 12s only, and consideration is given to the performance in both the grade 11 and grade 12 years. Junior academic colors are generally awarded to grade 10 students. So with those citations in mind, we'll get right into it for the junior recipients. The way this will work is the recipients will, when I call your name, please approach the front, and they will, uh, when you hear your name, come on up. I'll ask Mr. Nicholas um, to shake their hand, and Mrs. Conroy is going to help hand out the pins as well. So if Mr. Nicholas, if you could stand up, that'd be great. So please shake Mr. Nicholas's hand, receive your Junior Colors pin, um, of which you can nicely put it on your blazer for the remainder of your time here at Shawnigan. So here we go. There are 10 winners at this point in the first round of Junior Colors. Once you hear a name, please come forward. In no particular order, and not alphabetical as well. From Strathcona House, Rosa O. From Ripley's House, Johns Park. From Renfrew House, Yoon O. From Strathcona House, Avon Toma. From Lonsdales, Brady Zhang. From Kay's House, Sharon Shan. From Copeland's House, Lucas Liu. From Groves House, Zoe Chow. From Copeland's House, George Chi. And from Strathcona House, Ash Bhutan. Congratulations. Thank you to all your hard work. And remember, grade 10s, this is just the first round. We do have another round in the end of the year in June. So if you have questions or intriguing as to how exactly can I get to that level, please talk to your advisor, come talk to me um, anytime. So congratulations to those junior winners. Now on to the seniors. Again, when you come up, please, uh, when you hear your name, please come up to the front, shake hands with Mr. Nicholas, and you'll get your, uh, your tie, a nice accoutrement for a Saturday chapel. All right. Round two. Remember, we had uh, 18 winners uh, in January, February already, and these are the second round of academic colors for seniors. From Strathcona House, Kate McDonnell. From Lakes House, Gabriel Kenny. From Groves House, Georgia Brown. From Lakes House, Emmett Nietzsche. From Kay's House, 
Georgia Gilmore. From Kay's house, Angela Chu. From Lake's house, Martin Hussey. From Strathcona house, Abby McIntosh. From Strathcona house, Sharm Pedersen. From Kay's house, Clara Pesch. From Lonsdale's house, Luke Van Ziel. From Strathcona House, Audrey Sang. From Renfrew House, Ava Simpson. From Kay's House, Sophia Jacobic. Congratulations. <laughs> And again, for seniors, we do have one more round again in June. So we do have three rounds of academic colors for our senior students as well. That concludes the academic portion of the uh, gathering here. We're going to move on to athletics. And we have many different sports that happened in term two. And we will look at both junior and senior colors in this way. Again, the citation reads on page 13 of the gold book. Favorite number, 13, good number. Athletic, athletic awards are awarded to students who, who, do, who display strong skills, solid sportsmanship, significant leadership, a minimum of two year commitment, and they bring a positive attitude to both practice and competition. Senior athletic color recipients must be in grade 12. Junior athletic color candidates are judged according to their participation over three terms, consecutive terms. Nominations are given each term, and those who have been nominated two out of the three terms, or have been nominated twice, are presented with their junior athletic colors. And so we will go through both junior and senior today. When I was in high school, we didn't have colors. Um, it wasn't part of the, the lexicon in my high school. But what we did have, our colors were in the form of athletic jackets. You might see those, and I bet many of the staff here have something in their old closets dusting it off, an old leather jacket, an old Melton coat with leather sleeves. Um, it's a type of jacket you guys might thrift these days in the stores. It has the name Doug, or Terry, or Mary, written along their sleeve, embroidered. I know that Mr. Morris and I, Yes, Mr. Mays. Mr. Morris and I grew up in Scarborough, and I know Mr. Morris has something hiding in his closet back then. So Mr. Mays dusted off his old Shonigan coat. You can keep that on, Mr. Mays. It's, it's worthy of, of wearing. Is it going to fit? My school colors were red and purple. So art teachers out there, those are nowhere on the complimentary wheel. Um, I got this in 1987, playing for McDonald Collegiate in Scarborough, Ontario, just outside of Toronto. And our mascot, our nickname, I've never seen it replicated anywhere else in the world. We are called the Black Scots. And you can see it on the back there. Black Scots. We were named after a Scottish McDonald, not the MC like Milo and Jessica, but the true MAC Donald. All right, so otherwise I'd pass this on to either one of you, but it does say Mac on here. Um, so yeah, so this is what we wore and what we got as colors in, in our high school years. And uh, maybe we should bring back the old Shawnigan coats that Mr. Mays is wearing. They're pretty, pretty skookum in that way. All right, so it looks like we're ready for athletic colors for term two. We'll go sport by sport. Uh, we'll call up your coaches, and then the athletes will come up and receive their colors for that sport. If you were a junior that receives your first nomination, I'll just ask you to stand in place, and we'll recognize those who get first nominations, and then you'll sit down. If you're a junior that receives their second nomination, you'll come up and you'll shake hands and get your pin from Mr. Nicholas and, and Ms. Conroy. 
If you're a senior, obviously come up and you'll get your sport color tie. All right, here we go. We'll start with outdoors. And if I may ask Mr. Lease and or uh, Ms. Dick, if they're in the chapel, please come up and uh, you'll receive and greet your students. As Ms. Dick and Mr. Lease are coming up, in juniors, we have no one first nominations, but we have one person who got second, a second nomination and then henceforth will receive their pin. For juniors, Alexa Meath, come on up please. And for senior outdoors, Angela Chu and B. Horrell. Come on up, please. Congratulations, those in the outdoors. Thank you, Ms. Dick. Thank you, Mr. Lees. We will move on to squash. Mr. Whitney, Mr. Johnson, Ms. Grass, if they're in the chapel, please come up and, and uh, congratulate your, your nominees. As they're coming up, we're going to read four names that got their first nomination. So you'll stand in place and we'll recognize that, and you'll sit down in place as well. For your first nominations in junior, four people are Con Agino, Zach Grisdale, Justin Lee and George Chi. You may stand to be recognized, please. The juniors with second nominations in receiving their pins, Ash Bhutan, Caleb Armstrong, and Benjamin Kim. Looks like Ben might not be here. Is that right, Mrs. Lofton? Okay, thanks, Christian. We'll pass that pin on to him. Actually, Harry, would you mind grabbing? Um, that'd be great. Thank you, Harry. For seniors for squash, there is one nomination and one winner. Senior, Joseph Jacobic. Thank you, Mr. Whitney, and thank you, Ms. Grass. Congratulations to those squash players. We will now move on to cross country, and if Mr. Chancellor is in the, in the building, please come on up. As Mr. Chancellor is making his way up to the front, there is one, C one junior sorry, that has received first nomination. That is from Renfrew House, Sarah Hagen. Please rise for acknowledgement. <laughs> thank you, Sarah. And one junior that has won their pin, whoops, one junior that has won their pin from Ripley's house, Tristan Chan. <laughs> and one senior, again, from Ripley's house in cross country, Christian Lamott. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. Rowing, if Ms. Parfit or Ms. Platt or, and, and or Mr. Bowmans are in the chapel, could you please come up to the front? Thank you, Ms. Platt. Now, rowing didn't have a hugely competitive, competitive season over the uh, winter term, but we did have one junior nomination. Actually, Mrs. Platt, you don't need to be up here because this is only his first nomination. He will just rise and be recognized, and that is Eustace Frères. We'll move on to basketball and we'll start with junior boys. And I don't think Mr. Shepard is in the, as a coach, is not in the building, so we will work with Mr. Nicholas and Ms. Conroy. For junior boys, we have six, yeah, six people with the first nomination, if you just rise when you hear your name. Massimo Rubin, Isaac Chung, Cyrus Liu, 
Noel Toba, Konstantin Suvorov, and Logan Jones. We have two junior winners of pins, if you could please come on up. From Duxbury House, Ethan Mays. From Lakes House, Ambrose Ng. And if Ms. Manuel could please come up uh, and we'll do the Senior Girls Basketball Awards, please. She's sick today, all right, thank you. We will have Mr. Nicholas and uh, Ms. Conray as well. There are three Senior Girl winners, of which one of them, Kate Rossthorne, was selected as an Island All-Star for the Senior Girls Basketball. So would these three please come up, Kate Rossthorne, Caitlin Pierce, and Salam Cooper, all from Renfrew House. <laughs> Thank you, girls. We will now move on to slow-mo. That's the officials that help all the basketball that we do throughout the season. It's an incredibly taxing and incredibly needed service that is provided in the gym, and so many basketball tournaments and games are, are managed by those. If Mr. Eisbrenner and Ms. Bartlett are in the, um, in the chapel, could you please come up and present the awards too? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Eisbrenner. As Mr. Eisbrenner is coming up, we have two first nominations for juniors, and then we have three seniors. We'll do the juniors' first nomination. Just please rise. In Gross House, Zoe Chow. Strathcona House, Charlotte Gibson. <laughs> for our seniors with slow-mo, B. Horrell, Kanya Manjena Jalama, and Ava Simpson, all from Renfrew House. We will note as B comes up, her second nomination, the same term, she's just gonna get that one tie that she got, but she can still shake hands with Mr. Nicholas and Ms. Conroy and Mr. Eisbrenner. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Eisbrenner. We're gonna move on to ice hockey and we're gonna start with the, the boys ice hockey teams. If I can call out Mr. Cooper, Mr. Morris, and Mr. Gartner, please, to the front of the chapel. Fellow Scarberian coming up. All right, we will start with junior boys, and all of these boys have two nominations already. Please come up and receive your pins. Junior boys, Eli McCamey, Nigel Alberts, Stephen Coster, and Sullivan Bryant. Sorry, Sully. Selvin Bryan, no T, sans T. For our senior boys, please come up and receive your ties. Matisse Perron, otherwise known as Perry. Emmett Nietzsche, Chase Kittleson, Matt Jackson, Josh Pollock, Marcus Hughes, Matt Patry, Gabe Kennedy, Logan Kearley, Connell Hill, Keegan Lonsdale, and Gabe Lowe. Congratulations. Keegan Lodsdale is away today, and Gabriel Kennedy, Gabriel Kenny will, will grab Keegan's tie for him in Lakes House. Thanks, Gabe. 
Thank you, Mr. Morris. Thank you, Mr. Cooper, and thanks, Mr. Gertner. We'll go on to the girls' hockey. This will be our last sport for the afternoon. We have both the junior girls and the senior girls. If I ask Ms. Haggart um, to please come up. I don't think Lexi or Megan are here today. That's fine. As Ms. Haggart's making her way to the front, we will, not, we will uh, recognize the following juniors who all got second nominations. Please come up and receive your pins from Coach Haggart. Sadie Lawrence, Aiden Karkner, Grace Cooper, Zoe Kramer, and Charlotte Lawson. For the senior girls, Please come up and receive your ties. Morgan Jackson, Maya Lawrence, Zoe Bown, Mira Smith, Anya Porter, Grace Sidowski, Neha Gill, Alex Nelson, and Natasha Manji. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> and that concludes our award ceremony for today. Again, we will have another Colors for Term 3, and you have opportunities to work with your coaches, talk to your advisors, talk to your teachers, and see what it is that, if you're really intrigued and want to reach this goal of, of obtaining colors or a pin, that's great. We aspire and, as a, and we work towards those goals. So congratulations to all the winners, and uh, we will have uh, another couple months to see who comes up on stage again in due time. Just as a heads up for all of those in the building as well, one of the things that's upcoming are AP exams. Ooh, I'm back to academics to take this off. No, okay, so um, we are also having AP mock exams. For those in the AP classes, you should know that you, when you're writing your mock, when you're writing your actual AP exam, do you need a calculator? Can you use a pen? Can you use a pencil? Can you use an eraser? All these cool things that are specific to, this, to the courses in which you take. You should be communicating with your teachers, asking those questions if you don't know those. We do have time. That's why I'm telling you a month ahead. We start on the 6th of May for our AP exams, and mocks will run throughout the month of, of April. So just as a point of note in the houses, please be re respectful that a lot of the students in this room are studying for APs already. We're sort of in a mini exam month right now in April. So I appreciate all of those who are giving peace and quiet in the houses during prep time such that we can actually focus on those over the next two months. With that in mind, after we're done here too, could all grade 12s please stay behind? There's a little um, uh, event. The events team would like to talk to you about grad up at Whistler. And Last announcement is this, grade, 11, sorry, grade 8 through grade 11 competitive hockey players, both boys and girls, that's grade 8 through grade 11 competitive hockey players, please meet Coach, please meet Coach Cooper on the Marion Hall steps outside after chapel. Mr. Nicholas, is there anything else that you need? All right, I think that's sorted. Thank you very much for today, and we will let our staff go, and then I will dismiss you by grade. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to wait a bit for staff to get out. I guess Sackerson's grade 12.